Ooh, that just looks cold. Ooh, okay, yeah. Good morning, guys. It's currently about 19 degrees outside right now. So we're gonna do a cold start of this F-150 Lightning. Sounds so silent, yeah. So vehicle is reading 21 degrees and I did make a record of the battery level last night. It was at 47%, so let's see. Yeah, currently still at 47%, so that's good. However, I wanna find out this. So currently the power level that's available for this vehicle, because it's so cold, it's at 81%. But what's important is that that level right there is not gonna get to 100% all day if I just drive it normally. So I did test this yesterday. So yesterday was like 32 degrees and I drove it pretty much all day and it never got to 100% until I actually plugged in to charge. Also, I find it interesting that this battery temperature right here, it's still on the middle, which is like nominal level, even though it's like 19 degrees outside. So I want to go down to the gym and I want to see what kind of mileage I get on this vehicle. All right, guys, so it's been a few days since I went to the gym. So I was able to gather my thoughts and document this a little bit better for you guys. So before I show you the range I got, I want to give you a little bit more context. So this vehicle right here is the F-150 Lightning standard range battery, which has 98 kilowatt hours. And I live in a townhouse where I cannot charge overnight. That's why I was kind of like surprised to see my battery at like the mid-level temperature. Uh, yeah, it was so cold that night. I thought it was going to be much, much lower than that. And I know 19 degrees technically is short weather and slurpy weather for some people, but this is like part one of my winter series on this vehicle. So yeah, we're going to get colder soon. But that temperature was actually enough to make a difference in this vehicle. So let's take a look at that mileage. So the trip to my gym was 11.5 miles on a highway. I know it's, it's kind of far for a gym, but it's a good gym. And I live in Washington, D.C. area, and there's a ton of traffic in the morning towards that direction. So out of the 50 minutes on that trip log, I spent about 30 minutes in driving. So the first 15 minutes when I was making that intro, I did turn the vehicle on, but I did not turn the heater on. So I probably turned the heater on like five minutes before I departed. So this would be the same scenario if I were to actually remote start my car. I would usually use my four pass app five minutes before I actually go in the vehicle to warm it up. So this is very much like my everyday scenario. So for this trip, I got 1.9 miles per kilowatt hour. So usually on a fall season, this trip would have been more like three miles per kilowatt hour. So I lost about like, yeah, one third of the range. Now I know some of you guys are super sharp and probably I've noticed that my tire pressure wasn't the ideal situation so usually you want to have it at like 35 psi but i definitely did below that believe it or not it was like 70 degrees not too long ago but you can clearly see like where the energy went so 31 percent of the energy spent went straight to the heater and of course 12 percent of the energy spent was impacted by the actual temperature and only half the energy spent went to the motors now we all know that evs lose significant amount of range in the winter but i want to give you a perspective from what happens if you don't plug in at night and then just start driving right away now a lot of you guys probably already have a charger or a plug in your driveway or your garage but this still can be a real life scenario because if you guys go to an airport and park it you know for several days and you come back in a cold weather this can be one like this coming Christmas if you go visit like your family up north and then you have to park it outside for a while yeah this is gonna be the scenario but here's the part a lot of people don't talk about and that is how much available power is lost during the winter time so we mentioned this vehicle is a standard range battery which has 452 horsepower I keep wanting to say 426 because that was the number that was announced like when they launched the vehicle and then right before production they increased it right so remember that 81 percent let's ask alexa what's 81 percent of 452 81% of 452 is 366.12 yeah that's a lot of ponies lost but what's clutch here is that you never get that power back all day i mean you can drive it all you want the battery actually never warms up enough to get that power back to you and we're talking in like 20 degrees all the way up to like 34 degrees level so the only way to get that power back is if you go charge it like level two charger i tried the level one like ac power 120 volt like i charged it for over two hours and that number did not budge now i don't want to add more narrative that this vehicle is just horrible for towing but here's one more so in the winter time not only do you lose range you're gonna lose a lot of the power now practically 
honestly, when I was driving, I didn't feel like I lost any power. I mean, there's so much torque in this vehicle. So it just still felt like a gold car to me. The only loss I probably have is when I have a friend in my vehicle who says like, I've never been an EV before. Yeah, I probably won 100% power then. So for me, it was not a huge deal, but there's probably one more thing that you have to consider that a lot of people don't talk about. And that is the cost of the ownership of this vehicle in the winter time. Yes, the operating cost for this vehicle is still gonna be lower than like a gas equivalent, but in the winter time, we're gonna be charging a lot more so that we can just keep that battery level warm. So that is something to consider. And here's some of my recommendation if you're just getting into EV or you just got one, I think we have to be careful with what kind of window tinting we get. So I haven't gotten my front windows tinted yet for this reason. Uh, so if you're getting window tinted, watch out for those like 99% blockage in infrared because I think the sunlight coming in in the winter is helping a lot. So I am interested in knowing how the battery is going to hold up over this winter season if you don't plug it in every single night to charge. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty painful winter for me and I'm doing this out of a choice because I want to test it out for you guys. So I'm willing to be that guinea pig who has an F-150 Lightning, who doesn't have a garage nor a driveway who can charge. So it's going to be an interesting winter. So I recommend you subscribe and see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching until the end. Till next time, charge on, you know, to keep the battery warm. All right.